Hey again everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. There's been a new advisory up and there's been a little bit new information. It has been intensified. Uh, according to NOAA, I'll show you, it's up to 85. Uh, they, according to TWC, they're expecting up to 90. Uh, I'm showing winds can get a little more powerful up to 100, but it will go back down if you call good 80s before it gets towards landfall. But the worst part is, is this storm is now shifting even further east than expected, and instead of going towards Mobile, it's going towards Pensacola. Uh, before we get to everything, let's go to NHC. And now Sally has 85 miles per hour winds, uh, 972 millibars. It is moving north to northeast at 2 miles an hour. Now what's changed a lot is right here, when, if you can see your rainfall amounts. Instead of being straight on just this one little area, now it's tilted and it's further inland on Alabama. So that's the 90% probability of tropical storm force winds that you'll be getting uh, throughout this. And on the radar, I have HRR, so we'll be going through that on HRR. Now, the, also the rainfall amount has changed. Uh, the, a lot of the pink that was in, from uh, Biloxi over to Pensacola has changed now and shifted more east and has gone past Pensacola with a heavier spot even further I believe it's Dustin, down, further down the road on Florida, so it's just, just going to push east all this heavy rainfall. And this big dark area that you see here, I think that's around Ocean Springs, it's getting 20 plus inches. So it's anywhere from 20 to 25 plus inches. So that's going to be some really heavy rainfall. But now what I'm showing on the radar is that a lot of this storms is going to be on the north now to northeast, and the strength of the, the wind is going to be on the northwest side. Uh, this is a new storm surge update expecting only two to four inches two to four feet sorry right here for louisiana one to three by the pearl river uh, two to four feet for the mississippi alabama uh, border four to six feet uh, when you get past dolphin island and then two to four feet for okaloosa walton county line and then a one to three feet still stretches that may go further we don't know yet we hopefully that the track that we following so far is correct now, as far as your excessive rainfall for the next three days, the pink has shrunk down. It's, it's more inland towards uh, Alabama and uh, the Florida Panhandle. But the red has, has stretched out even further now past South Carolina, uh, which is moderate for, for excessive rainfall, and all the way to North Carolina now. So it did stretch out further right there on that model. Now, everybody's been going with the Euro model, but you know me, I'm, I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, GFS was pretty much straightforward and it went straight in. It was kind of going against anything that everybody's talking about because it's, it's obviously moving. You can see it moving, so we didn't go by that. This is your Euro model. We're doing high resolution, 6 hours, 12 hours, 18 hours, and then by 24 hours from now, it's going to be at nine, uh, 980 millibars, and it's going to start moving its way uh, eastward even further, and it's going to jump past... To the, other, to the east side of Pensacola and still be 980 millibars. I'm not strong, showing it the strengthening gets crazy or anything special. And Euro has been right as far as the track. It did go west and stall, and it is tracking east like it's saying now, and it did show east in our stream last night. So Euro's the correct one on this one, guys. Uh, NAM shows crazy amounts of, of uh, storm intensity, which I don't see happening. So please don't follow the, na the NAM. That's not, that's not a good one to have. But a show landfall will be 36 hours, according to the Euro, right here on Pivotal Weather. Because there's your eye center, and that's 36 hours away. So anywhere from 30 to 36 hours, guys. And then it goes away in the 48-hour mark. Now, this is what I was talking about with the NAM. NAM was showing, a, it did show an eastern push, but it's showing 15 hours from now. 15 hours. It gets all the way down to 950 millibars before it starts making its way uh, northern through the land. And 950 millibars brings you up, and if you look on the east side, okay, it was north and east side loaded, but it's weaker on the right side. 72, 73 is still powerful. That's knots. Remember, you divide it by six and add that to it to get to your miles per hour. Uh, but on the northwest side, uh, it's getting the most power, and I've got it up to 72, 75, or 78, 85, look at that, 87, 87 knots. I'm not even going to look any further. 87 knots is around 100 miles per hour. That's that's a lot. So that's just what the name's saying. I just can show you everything that we have on everything. Let me refresh it. It refreshes every 10 minutes. 
there's power outages going out so make sure you go to poweroutage.us click on your state and then look for your county then when you click on it, you'll see exactly who's working uh, on that power company so you know when's it getting fixed and by who but you got 60,000 over 60,000 Alabama you got 34,000 uh, Florida you have uh, 61,000 in Louisiana, all out without power. And so far, Mississippi has 3,000. So mostly it's been Alabama, uh, Louisiana, and Florida. And Louisiana still has all the western outages from Laura. So that's a lot of things that they've been having going on over there. So God bless them. Now this, what I have here, this is going to the, the HRR, the high resolution radar. I did it only 18 hours. That's all you can get on the high resolution. But it is the best thing to see for the next 18 hours. Uh, this is going to show you where your thunderstorm bands are going to be. Uh, this is also the path projected uh, according to the models. And it's at 975 millibars. Uh, maximum winds 87 miles per hour. So it's expected to stay a cat one and not get any more strengthening past then. But I did show more strength on HRR 10 meter run. Uh, but I'll go through the rest of these in one second. Let me show you what we're dealing with. So this is what Sally looks like as it moves more east. And if you notice, all the heavy rainfall is going to be in the north side of this storm just pushing through. It's not going to be on the back side of the storm. It's going to be the north. And all the winds was on the west side. I'll show you that next. So that's the next 18 hour shot. That's as far as we got, well, we get to know of, of the truth of Sally as far as HRR radar goes. And the HRR radar is very accurate. Now these bands look like they're going to start come going towards Florida. You're going to need to watch these bands coming up. They're going to start stretching across tomorrow. I can't see that far yet. But let me take this off so I can show you what it is. I'm trying to, sh trying to get to you. Models. All right. Let's get to the wind power. The wind power is going to tell you everything within the next 18 hours of what's going on with the storm. And at the same time, I'm going to turn off this so this don't confuse you by what you're, what you're looking at. Now everything in this red right here, this is your 5% area for tornado warnings uh, and torn I mean, tornado watches. It has moved all the way uh, east and it's almost to Tallahassee. So it did stretch a lot further. Uh, your 2% is this yellow box right here on the edge here. There's a 2% chance of tornado warnings. That's from uh, the, the whiplashing coming from the, the rain bands. It's, that's where that comes out of. I show that the river gauges was okay. They're still not close to the flood stage. Most of them have many room, if not one. They have two feet extra still plus uh, before any flood will come on. So I don't show anything problem with the gauges yet. And here's all your flash flood warnings so far for what we have. We have tornado warnings as well as flash flood warnings. Uh, until 11 p.m. This goes all the way up. This tornado just popped up. I'll read that to you in a second. Flash flood warning for Port St. Joe. Y'all can see your areas. All these areas under flash flood warning. Okay, let me read that real quick. And then we'll get to this model to see what the power is. Because the power I'm showing was, was uh, 100 miles an hour. But it does go down, uh, thank God, shortly after. So this just came up, guys. Until 11 p.m. Central Time. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Panama City. It's moving northwest at 30 miles an hour. This dangerous storm will be near Panama City Beach around 10.50 p.m. Uh, other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Biltmore Beach, St. Andrews State Park, Edgewater Gulf Beach, Gulf Lagoon Beach, Magnolia Beach, West Panama City, Bahama Beach, and, Bid and Bidoui. So take cover if you're in that area. I will get this up to you as soon as, I, as soon as possible. Let me go through this now, and we'll be done with it. These numbers you see here, this is a wind gust. This is what's reported now with the buoys. Again, wind gusts up to 81 and up to 70. And as we push the model through, you notice that the power stays on the top northern, uh, northern west. 88 miles an hour, and the green is the strongest. It gets up to 100. And then the 70s and 80s on the right side. But as it moves after that, it weakens immediately and shifts east. You see that shift? And it does strengthen for a quick moment. And then it goes further east and it goes in towards uh, Fort Walton, right before Fort Walton Beach. And as far as the timing on that, 
right there with the eye. This is at 8 a.m. Because it shifts before that. At midnight. Eight a.m. by ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, we got all the way to twelve thirty right there, and the, the orange you're seeing is still fifty miles an hour winds up to sixty, and the tropical storm to to low forties is the white. But that's what I have so far for the storm, guys, and that's the update. I mean, it has shifted more east, so please be safe. God bless all of you. Uh, in the morning, when I get another update. I'll probably do another do another stream if y'all need one. Just let me know if you need one. Uh, I need y'all to respond to that. It's very important that I know how, how you feel. Now, I'd like to read to you. It was recommended by a viewer. So if you recommend a verse that you like, please put it in the comments. I do look at, at all of them. Uh, Isaiah 55. Ho, everyone that thirst, thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money, come ye, buy, and eat. Ye, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread? And your labor for which, for that which satisfieth not. Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good. And let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear, and come unto me, here and your soul shall live and i will make an everlasting covenant with you even the the sure mercies of david behold i have given him for for the witness to the people a leader and commander to the people behold thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the lord of thy god and for the holy one of of israel for he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Amen. Let the wicked forsake his way, and let the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are, are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that it goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sin it. For ye shall go out with joy, and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you unto singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn that shall come up in the fir tree, and instead of the briar that shall come up in the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Amen. God bless you all tonight. I hope that you don't get uh, any power outages out of this so far. Please go to poweroutage.us. It's the best thing to go to and see what's going on with everything. God bless you all. I'll see you in the morning. Uh, if you want to stream in the morning, just let me know. All glory goes to God.